Welcome back to the Cathedral Rectory and to our Advent Reflections. Yesterday, we spoke of how we can pray with Scripture, beginning with the Psalms and then opening up to other Scriptures as we do a slow meditation or reading with them, letting the Holy Spirit speak to our hearts through particular words and phrases. Well, that has me inspired to now talk about another place of prayer. As we move in this transition of praying with Scripture to a place of meditation that opens the door to contemplation. For that, especially suited to the Advent season, would be a Marian devotion, which is Our Lady's Rosary. Of course, we all know the beads, but we need to know how to pray with them. Far from being a mere piece of jewelry or a necklace, this is a tool of prayer, and a powerful one at that that the Church has celebrated. In the early days of the Church, in a practice still observed by so many of our Eastern Rite Catholic brothers and sisters and our Orthodox brothers and sisters, Prayer ropes with beads were a part of the early fixture of Christianity and the Catholic Church. First, the beads were used to pray the Psalms, such as we talked about yesterday. But in the course of the High Middle Ages, the devotion shifted. The prayer beads in the west of Europe were turned toward praying the Our Father, the Hail Mary, and the Glory Be prayer as we meditated upon the events in the life of Jesus and Mary. The beginning point of the Rosary is the great events that God has done all which are contained or referenced in sacred scripture. We have traditionally the three mysteries, sets of mysteries of the rosary, and then Pope St. John Paul II, about 20 years ago, added the luminous mysteries of the rosary. The joyful mysteries are those most suited to this time of the year, where we consider Jesus' incarnation, the announcement of the Archangel Gabriel, Mary's yes and the Annunciation, the visitation of Mary to her cousin Elizabeth, Jesus' nativity, which we'll celebrate in a few weeks, and then his presentation in the temple and his finding in the temple at 12 years old. The fact that God has drawn near to us. And that we can enter into that. Some people take up a form of the rosary called the scriptural rosary, where there's actually punctuated bits of scripture between each Our Father and Hail Mary. We also have, of course, the sorrowful mysteries of the rosary, meditating upon Jesus' passion, his suffering, his work of redemption and atonement for us, the glorious mysteries of his resurrection, his ascension, the gift of Pentecost, and the Virgin Mary's participation already in the eternal life of heaven by her assumption and by her coronation as queen of heaven. The luminous mystery opens us up to the years of Jesus' public ministry, where we see the Lord Jesus first get baptized, then perform his first miracle, announce the kingdom, a call to repentance, such as we find in our readings these Sundays with St. John the Baptist is a central figure. We also will find that Jesus is transfigured on Mount Tabor and institutes the Holy Eucharist. But in all of this, we are actually tracking through the life of our Lord, real events that happen, and we are called to become a part of the scene. So we're praying with Scripture, but we're also called to meditate upon it and let our imagination, our heart be touched as we enter into the scene. It's not supposed to be just a rote resuscitation of memorized prayer. Sometimes we Catholics get hit for that. But of course, at our best, we know that's not true. We can slowly pray with these beautiful ancient prayers, themselves scriptural, the Our Father, the Hail Mary, the Glory Be. And then we can allow our heart and our mind to enter into the very scenes that we are praying about and bring our intentions along with us in that way. So let's have a renewed appreciation for the wonder that is the Rosary, a great help for prayer. With the Blessed Virgin Mary as our icon of hope during the season of Advent, let's turn to her with her own beads and meditate upon the events that make this Advent such a joyous time of the year. God bless you all. Have a wonderful day today.